and that was completely using in a smartphone. Hi, I'm Yad and this is Filmography. The video that you saw just now was originally from a YouTube channel called Marco Room. When I saw the video, it was so nice when real time and slow motion together in one single video. And I was thinking, I can do this using a smartphone. The original video creator must use any desktop class application which is Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects, I'm not sure, but definitely was a desktop class application. But here in this video, we don't use desktop application, we use only smartphone to recreate the same effect. And yes, we did that again, we able to recreate the same effect using mobile platform. For filming, it's very straightforward. You just need to set up the table that I was using. And this is the full setup of the video that you saw. So for lighting, I used a red headlight with bundle and then two softbox and then one LED light at the back. Okay, the, these two light at the back to uh, illuminate the wall at the back to avoid any uh, shadow cast by myself when I start to stand at behind the table. The original video creator used black background for his video but here I don't have black background so what I did I used a white background which is my wall. I just used this wall to achieve the same effect by changing the blending mode from screen to darken. You will understand why I use this blending mode later in the editing part. And this is my camera stand. I use a camera stand. This is Yulaji uh, camera rig. Uh, currently, I took off the camera because that is the camera that I'm using for recording now. So that's all for the setup. Nothing fancy. And next for the video, you need two parts of the video clip. Both video must be in high frame rate so that you can do the slow motion in editing. Since I'm using iPhone 12 Pro Max, the highest frame rate I can get is 240 frame in 1080 full HD resolution. If let's say you have a smartphone that can shoot more frame rate, just go for the highest. With high frame rate, you can slow down the video much more. Before start recording the video, you need a picture of cookie dropping into the mug. For this part, you need to take earlier by setting up burst mode in your phone while dropping cookie into a mug full of coffee. Now, for the first part of the video, you need to act like you are taking cookie and dropping into a mug. Then, take a phone and act like taking picture and show to people. At this point, do not fill up the mug with the drink. Just leave it empty. Once you're happy with the clip, get ready for the second part which is dropping cookie into a mug full of coffee. Uh, this is the part where I already finished the first part of shooting which is without the water. Now, with the water, here you can see, I already fill up the water. Okay, all my setup is ready. Now, let's try. To do this, make sure you didn't move anything in your set, even your lighting or camera. If you feel the mark might move in the filming process, use a double-sided tape to securely stick the mark on the table. Now, pour your coffee into the mark and drop the cookie from a height. Try not to be seen in the frame. Just record the cookie and the mark. And that's all you need for the video. Next is editing. In your new project in a light motion, import the first clip and put it in the main layer. This clip will be in normal motion and only the cookie dropping will be in slow motion. To achieve this, you need a clean slate. To create one, duplicate this clip and swipe until you see the moment the cookie is away from your finger. Cut here and nudge it one frame to the left. Now, select round shape in the shape tab and adjust the size according to the cookie. Next, select blending and then select mask. Tap the shape in the timeline and select create clipping mask. Now you can see the shape will only mask the duplicate layer. Now, tap move and transform. Use this trackpad on the left bottom to mask out the dropping cookie. You can see the cookie is start disappearing. Add a keyframe to the movement and continue to move the mask through the clip until the cookie falls into the mark. 
Now, you have created an empty slate where the cookies disappeared. Keep all this composition in a group just to make sure it's more arranged and organized. Next, you need a slow motion of the cookie dropping. So for this, import the first clip again and cut the part the cookie dropping from your hand. Select the speed and reduce it to the slowest for your selected frame rate. In my case, it will be reduced to 20% since my original clip was in 240 frames per second. Next, zoom the clip and tap on vector drawing. This is the tool to draw masks like Adobe software. Using these drawing tools, draw a shape precisely around the cookie and add a keyframe for every point you created. Adjust the shape for every frame until the cookie drops into the mark. This might take some time but it's worth it. Next, select blending mode and select mask. And also, turn on create clipping mask. Now, group these two composition also. By this point, you can already see the effect coming to life. Next, you need the coffee splashing scene. For that, you need to add the coffee splashing clip and use the same method as the cookie to mask the mug full of coffee. In this clip, you need to match the lighting and the contrast with the main clip. So, adjust accordingly. As you see, I separated the splashing clip into two parts. The first part is on the table and the second part is on the wall. This makes the darkened blending mode to be used better since the wall is in white color. If you're using a black background, you won't need this step. Once you're done masking for the wall, change the blending mode to darken. And finally, you need to make the coffee in the mug from beginning of the video. For that, use the mug on the table part composition and select the beginning of the clip where the coffee stays still. Put this in front of the main clip. Once you had everything in place, export this composition to your device. Then, the clip is ready. I import this video to LumaFusion app to add the flash effect and further color grading and sound effect. And that's all you need. You are done. And that's how you put real time and slow motion in the same video. That's all for now. I hope that you learn a lot in using smartphone to recreate this kind of effect. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, signing off, I'm Yad and this is Filmography. Remember, simple method, awesome video.